Hi guys, I'm coming to y'all with a, um, a plate review by Decor Eunice. Um, you has something like that. I'm I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but it's the Romantica number two. They also have a number one, uh, which I seen a review on it, and this is the one that I got. And I bought this plate off of beautymetro.com. And this plate was $15. It doesn't, it does have a backing, but it's not like a cardboard. It looked like it's like a little sticker thing, something like that. Um, you can also order from it's her website here and but I got it off of Beauty Metro they have a lot of plates there I wanted some other ones but um, they're kind of pricey I want to look into buying some messy matching plates I don't have any of those and I, this is my first one by her um, I wanted to try the I can't think of the name but it starts with an A um, but anyway back to the plate and it does have a blue film on it. Gorgeous plate. I'm gonna take it off so y'all can see it closer. Gorgeous plate. Gorgeous plate. My home, so my lighting up in here is a little bit more intense and dark. Beautiful plate. Beautiful. I'm using this. I'm sure somebody gonna ask me what is this. I mean, every video somebody asks me what this is. And this is actually a cotton cloth I bought from Sally's. You can also get it from Amazon. What you do is you just press this like this, and it opens up, and it is just attached to the cotton ball like this. And it's called a cotton cloth. Okay, I'm gonna use this hard stamper right here from Messy Mansion. This side right, this part right here is actually a Moyu, Moyu, London, kind of soft, squishy stamper. And I think I'm gonna use um, the AliExpress rectangle one I got here. Oh, what is that? I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the plate off with some acetone. It is etched, y'all. It's kind of tearing up my cotton ball. See, I hate that. But anyway. I'm going to transfer the um, stamp onto this white paper here. Let's get started here. I'm going to use... I have Dashika Black and I have Irish 54... MDU. Let's start with this one right here. I wish I had my creative head work, but I don't. So I know I'm not going to be able to pick up that whole image, but I'm going to try. It is so pretty. Okay, that's. I'm going to need a lot of polish for this image right here. So I'm going to have to cover it because it's very, very deep. And it requires a lot of polish, so. Look. Oh, my God. It's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, that is so pretty. Look. It is so pretty. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. That is beautiful. I think out of all the images, that is the most beautiful image there. Oh my God. And y'all, 
y'all guys this is a hard a uh, very this is a hard stamper very hard stamper and it's picking up lovely Here it didn't come out too good. And those are deep. Oh, I messed that up. But you can tell that it came out pretty good. This plate is it's so good. I mean, it's tearing up my cotton. Oh my goodness. That's when you have to pull out some lint free. And it's tearing this up. That's when you're pulling out a napkin and just work with that. <laughs> this dashika polish is just like regular polish. It will dry up on you. It's not like one do that you can keep on swiping, swiping, swiping and use this to put it back. You actually can't. It dries like regular polish fast. Okay. Let's see what else they have on this plate. That is just a lovely plate. Oh my God. This place will suck up some polish, y'all. But it stamps beautifully. It's a nice size little plate, too. The butterflies on here are gorgeous. Mondu polish ain't going a long way with this one. This plate can suck up some polish. Let's go for it. Pretty. Uh oh, it still came up lovely. It's also a messy mansion. This one is more softer than the other one. Messy mansion.
this horror stamp is working pretty good on this stamp. I love it. So you don't always need a little soft um, stamper. If you have curved nails, I can understand if you like a soft, soft stamper. But hey, it works pretty good with a hard stamper. So miss a leaf right here, but it is gorgeous. And stop it. Do this one right here. Pretty. Gorgeous. All right, guys, that's it. This plate is darling. I, I, I know $15. I know people might be saying, whoo, $15, but hey, I bought a, a $18, $24 plate um, half this size before, and it really doesn't matter of the size of the plate. Oh, this is a girl right here, y'all. I just noticed that this is actually a girl, but her face is cut off. Oh, I wish it was a whole face. That's okay. I got to do this image right here for y'all. Oh, I just noticed that's a little face there. Oh my goodness. Let me go back and do that for y'all real quick. Oh my goodness. Should have did it in black, huh? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you can look at these plates and didn't notice something. You just start glancing at it and you see something totally different you ain't never seen. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. And she got like a little flower in her hair. Oh my goodness, that's pretty. Okay. Let me clean this up and then I'll come back and show y'all um, the paper. But I really do love this plate. It's a very nice detailed plate. Worth my $15. Stamps well, pick up. Images are just cut very nicely. Okay guys, I just want to show you the designs. Gorgeous, y'all. When I tell you, a lovely plate. Lovely, lovely plate. lovely plate and uh, it's worth it y'all it's beautiful it's just beautiful well well thought out plate i like a little image of this a little image of that it's just got nice images uh, well worth it and that's it until next time guys see you later bye